Good morning, my friend. I am Rachel Archelaus, your host for the Daily Alignment Show. Thank you so much for joining me. We are going to wake up together so that you can find your center, find your embodiment, so that by the time you get out into the rest of your day, you're feeling like the creator that you are. The world will respond to you instead of you reacting to the world. So this week we're doing something a little different. I am channeling our collective higher selves, or in yesterday's case, our guides, and giving you what you most need to know right now. And I feel like it's been refreshing. We're going to do our calibration with the decoding so that you get all that you need right in this one step today, plus a little super secret thing at the end. Intimate Alien will be back next week, though she's always within me, so you can probably hear her a little bit in my decoding as well. Let's get into it. So subscribe, like the video if it's helpful for you. And what do you most need to know today? While I'm drawing, you can relax, find your comfort, find your cozy, take deep breaths and see where we're going today. I love doing intuitive art for you. It's really therapeutic if you want to try it. There's a free class linked below. We even have certified intuitive artists if you want to take it further and do this work with other people. It's very powerful. This is really different today. This is gorgeous. I'm <laughs> not saying that about my artwork, just a message. Oh, this is really nice. I can't wait to decode this. All right, bring your self back to the present moment. I am going to clean up and I'll be right back to decode. Okay, this feels very star being like, very like whale energy, distant waters, open space, like really galactic in nature. And that can be really healing for a lot of people who haven't considered that part of themselves or just who don't feel comfortable on earth. Like this kind of energy can really be soothing. And so this feels soothing to me. If this feels soothing to you, let me know. Let me know if you feel like it's galactic energy for you. So it started out with white, which is truth. So you are living in your truth and you know what your truth is when you're confronted with ideas, right? Yes, that resonates with me. No, that doesn't resonate with me. You can trust that you have a foundation of your truth that is helping you every single day discern what is for you and what is not for you. And then there was this big spiral spiral of orange, which is um, a thinking color. It's ideas. It's, it's processing. It is, in this case, holding things together, giving a structure to this drawing. And that's really what our thoughts do, right? They create our structure. Our thoughts are powerful tools. And so mold your thoughts around your truth, right? So think more about your truth than about what is not your truth. Oh, that's a really powerful message. Yeah, there's lots of stuff going on in the world that's not right. It's not good. It's not what we want. People are trying to serve us stuff for dinner we don't like. That's not our truth, right? So big stuff, little stuff, tons and tons and tons to choose from on this earth that's not your truth. You don't have to look at that. The more you look at that, the more you actually create that in your world. You're saying, come on in, all the stuff I don't like. And so if you ask yourself, can I really be of service here? Can I really change something here? And it feels good, then that's your truth. Include it. But if you're looking at something that you don't like, that's not your truth, and you it doesn't feel good to keep looking at it, you can't be of service because it doesn't feel good, then don't look at it. You have permission. You have permission to look at your truth 
and nothing else. Because you can't be of service if you're in pain. You can't be of service if you're hurting. So if you can feel good in the face of that, then you have something to give. You do. And there are lots of people who do. There are lots of people who have really hard jobs who help in really big ways because that's how they feel good. You don't have to be responsible for fixing anything. Nothing actually needs fixing. It's all ordered. It's all taken care of. Now we're getting into the weeds and I'm just channeling here, but from a cosmic galactic point of view, from a higher self point of view, there is order in the universe and your truth can be trusted to take care of what it needs to take care of, okay? What is most beneficial for this world. So, stepping back out, you can trust your truth. Your truth feels good, okay? And your thoughts play a big, big, big part in what shows up in your world. So if you don't like what's showing up in your world, change your thoughts to things that feel better. And that's what this is. This is self-love right here. It's, oh, it's so good for you to love yourself enough to focus on your truth, your feel good, your contribution, right? And then here we have our lovely wealth and ease color. Wealth and ease is so tied to your truth. We've had it come up many times here on this channel, and it's always tied to truth, right? So we had it a few weeks ago. Wealth follows creativity because it was creativity and truth. That's what this is. So you as a creator being, my green color, and white, truth, mixed together, wealth and ease. And then here is a deep, deep dive into you. A deep dive into your creative aspects, who you are on a soul level, what you wanted to bring into this experience and how you're pulling from galactic spaces, deep, dark ocean spaces, perhaps. So this is a permission slip here to let go of the burden you've been carrying, thinking you need to be responsible for the world, and to just love yourself enough to feel better, to look inside yourself, to know where you can contribute and where to go back home. You always want to come from home, from your heart, from your truth because that is where you can actually accumulate enough, enough resources, enough energy, enough ideas to actually help. So this is like, you know, all of you who want to go out there and save the world, this is just a little bit of a framework for where does my contribution lie? And first, you have to find your own abundance. You have to find your own well of alignment in order to give the excess. So in summary, your truth always feels good. Only do what is in alignment with your truth. Your thoughts shape your entire world. So if you're seeing lots of stuff that's not your truth, lots of stuff that doesn't feel good, go back home and focus more on your truth. Think more good thoughts. Love yourself enough to do that, to drop the burden, drop the responsibility of saving the world. And know that wealth and ease comes with this combination. And so you will have something to give as long as you take care of yourself first. Well, wow. Okay, that was heavy. That was uh, definitely deeper, more um, in your face than I normally get. So thank you, higher selves. I think a lot of you needed to hear this today, right? That is the point of today. What do you most need to hear? You most need to hear that you matter too. You matter too. Do not go out there and just sacrifice yourself in order to save the world because it doesn't work. You can't do that. You have nothing to give. So go here first. Love yourself. Think good thoughts. Focus on your truth. 
go deep within, and then you'll have plenty to give. You will give just because it's fun for you to be that, right? I do this show for me, but I know you all get a lot out of it too. So it's the perfect representation of this. So, I feel like we need a cozy moment. We need a cozy moment instead of a dance party. Let me get my blanket. Wrap yourself up if you can, if you have a blanket. Wrap yourself up in your arms if you don't. Give yourself a big hug. You matter. You matter so much. The universe loves you so much. We all love you so much. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Think good thoughts. Align with your truth. And I hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow for more of what you really need to know today. Okay. Daily Alignment Show out. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.